YouTube and today I am going to show you how you can fix the Samsung Galaxy JTI 9300 the power button is damaged so I already removed the board and opened the mobile so that's the panel as you can see I am putting it aside that's the motherboard on which we are going to work so I have noticed that the power button is not working and the power button is damaged as you can see that's the power button of this model so that was damaged and I just replaced it as you can see I buy this power button from the market as you can see this is the power button which I have used to replace this button so I used some hot air gun hot air to remove this the damaged button and after that I just simply put one piece of button from this on this as you can see so after putting this after placing it using a heat hot air gun and using a tuser to hold it and I use a grip board as you can see and then I give some heat from the downside of the power button and use a tweezer as you can see I use a tweezer to remove it and then I reverse this method and take this power button from these and using a tweezer I put them I take them up and put it on this place and using the holder gun I paste fix it on its place and then when the solder go cold I simply release the pressure which I place on it so after that I simply use a solder and solder these two point together with the real players as let me focus a little while yeah as you can see that's the one point that's the ground and that's the second point 
so after that i just place all the things back i place the mother board back into its place as you guys can see and now first i will let a gel city grip and then the power grip and the camera grip and in the last i play the speaker you guys can see i have placed the battery i have the battery is a little bit charged yeah as you can see samsung galaxy s2 gd i9300 so is turning on so the job is done thank you for watching please do like share comment and subscribe to my channel